It may be cold out there today, but it hasn't felt much like winter the last few weeks. Now, got a few flurries. That was nice. Made you feel a little more like Christmas. Well, News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson checked in with some shoppers today, and she joins us with more on how the warmer winter has affected their holiday spirit. Angelica. Well, some people may be having a difficult time getting into the holiday spirit, but today I talk with some shoppers who say the unusual weather isn't stopping them from spreading a little holiday cheer. Cars filed into the parking lot filled with shoppers on a mission. Last minute shopping. I have Christmas with my family in Fort Wayne tomorrow, and everybody's coming in from different areas. I'm going to Best Buy to pick up a couple electronic items, and then I'll be done. It's the last weekend for shoppers to finish checking off their list. There's so many people out. I was surprised to see how many are out today. Being a Friday afternoon, you know, not even work day. Mother Nature was kind enough to send a gentle reminder that Christmas is on the way. You know, the snow was kind of the flurries were out today, so it made it feel a little bit more like Christmas is coming. I really wasn't in the mood because I was wearing shorts a week ago, and now I'm, you know, dressed to the T and it's cold. But it won't stay cold for long. Still, some people are holding out hope for a white Christmas. I love snow and I love this season. It's my favorite time of year. It would be nice. That's the only day of the year I'd want snow because I'm done. It's not likely that will happen, but look on the bright side. It'll be good for the travelers that are going to their families, you know, that have a long distance to travel. So it'll be good for them. And rather it snows or not, it won't stop Santa. I know the kids like a little bit on the ground so the Santa sleigh can glide a little easier. But for me as an adult, I think he's got wheels on the sleigh too. Well, people are out shopping now, but according to a weather forecasting firm for retailers, mall-based clothing stores have lost more than $3 million in sales compared to last year. In Studio 15, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.